Well, whether it's transporting relief supplies to our refugee camp or flying doctors to a remote village, Mission Aviation Fellowship provides more than just tools and supplies. To tell us more is the president and CEO of Mission Fellow Aviation Fellowship Canada, Brad Bell. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is a much needed and amazing service that you provide. Morning, Bob. How are you? Good, good. Give us uh, the origins of Mission Aviation Fellowship and how many countries do you operate in now? Yeah, we're, um, we're kind of old. We're, uh, we've been around for 75 years. There was uh, a group of uh, World War II pilots that after the war finished uh, wanted to use aircraft for good and not for destruction. So they started um, MAF over in Europe and in the United States. Uh, we operate um, in about uh, 30 countries, a little over 30 countries. And we have um, a couple interesting statistics. We have the world's largest fleet of small aircraft. Wow. Uh, and uh, every four minutes, one of our aircraft is either taking off or landing. So um, we're, we're doing a lot of flights. That's, that's amazing. And, and of course, there's so many pressing needs, including the current pandemic. You're involved in vaccine delivery? Yeah, so we've been really privileged to be working with a lot of uh, local governments in Africa and, and elsewhere. And we, MAF really does a good job of doing the last mile delivery. So we, we go where there's no roads. So we've been working with uh, uh, big pharmacy and government to look at how we can be involved in delivering uh, vaccines to some of the most remote places in the world. Yeah, has and, there been a call in uh, Ontario, for example? I know Orange has been delivering vaccines. You know, we don't, uh, oddly enough, we, we don't uh, work in countries in, in the West, so countries mm -hmm. like Canada and right. the U.S. We, we do fundraising and, and we train our pilots and all that. Most of the work that we do, or all the work that we do, frankly, is in uh, developing nations. Yeah. Uh, now, speaking of uh, fundraising, this is entirely funded by donations? Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty crazy. We're, we're really just blessed to have an amazing group of donors worldwide. These aircraft cost about a thousand US an hour to operate. And uh, all of those uh, humanitarian flights that we do, we do for free and, and they're all supported by our donors. So it's, it's pretty crazy when you think about, you know, how, how many people it takes to, to give that amount of money to keep us flying. Yeah, well, the, again, there's so many reasons, so, you know, for your services, uh, delivering supplies where there's no roads, no doctors, no 911, as you mentioned, in the developing world, uh, but also um, education yeah. as well. Uh, you know, what we do in each country differs. Um, uh, so some countries were primarily uh, medical. Some countries we were involved in teaching. So we deliver teachers or school supplies. Uh, or food for the students at schools so that they can learn better. Uh, so it, it, it really varies all over. In Angola, uh, we're involved with Halo Trust and they uh, remove landmines. You probably remember a really classic picture of Princess Diana with a, a face shield and a, and a bomb vest yes. on. Yes. And that was taken in Angola with um, MAF and with Halo Trust. Fantastic. And uh, you're involved in disaster response. Can you give some examples? Yeah, that's something that the organization does really well. So we have two teams uh, that are able to respond within 24 hours anywhere in the world. And so these teams, if there's a disaster, you know, a hurricane or, or some other natural disaster, they can land, they can set up uh, mobile internet, and we can be providing flights for all of the other aid agencies uh, that come in and, and provide relief. And it's it's a it's a pretty dedicated team. It's it's pretty neat to see that team in action and and uh, we have over 1,500 partners uh, that we fly during times like that. Well, you're really making a difference, and I'm sure many Canadians would like to support this. We're going to link up your website for Mission Aviation Fellowship Canada, because as you mentioned, this is entirely driven by donations. Brad Bell, thanks so much for joining us this morning. No, thanks for having me on your show.